Cisco and third-party integration. We're going to do Splunk in Azure, and this is just the installation of Splunk in the Azure, uh, Azure environment. So uh, I'm not claiming to be an expert in Azure or in uh, Splunk uh, for that matter. I'm using a free trial here. The goal here is just to deploy an instance of Splunk in Azure and leverage uh, it to take uh, data, event data from Cisco Security Technologies and then present it in a manner of which one may want to view that data. So, and, and the goal is really to show you how simple some of this stuff is from an integration perspective, right? Uh, on the Cisco Security part. So I thought, well, why not? actually deploy the instance and then record that just to give people some visuals in regards to you know what that might look like from a deployment perspective in, in Azure. And we know that lots of people now are, are transitioning to cloud, so it made a whole lot of sense for me to build this out. So username, password, subscription, resource group, and location, that's the, the basics that we need to, to configure. And again, this, this uh, instance is, is available in Azure. So you just look it up and say, hey, I want to create it, right? Which is pretty cool. Then network settings, we're going to leave all the, the defaults here for the most part, right? I'm not changing anything. I'm not necessarily following best practices here either. So the VNet will leave as is. Look at the subnet real quick. Um, I'm not making any changes here. But uh, if you know you have a, an Azure environment, obviously you would deploy this in the manner that makes the most sense for the architecture uh, that you've deployed. In my case, again, I'm just using it to showcase the integration. Now I'm doing a single node deployment um, and I'm using the standard D5v2. And because I'm using the free trial, this comes back to bite me. Um, and it'll tell me when it does the validation that it is, it, it's not able to proceed with the deployment and I have to go back and change it, but you'll see that in a second. Um, domain name for Splunk, you have to put it in here. The one thing that caught me a lot of times, uh, and I didn't realize this, is in Azure, the domain name has to be in lowercase. So a lot of times I was using uppercase, I was getting errors and um, I couldn't understand why, maybe because I didn't read the message correctly, but Anyways, lowercase, Splunk admin password, confirm that password, you IP range, SSH, you probably want to restrict that. I'm not doing that in this lab. And then where we might be receiving data from, you might may want to restrict that as well. I, I When I say may, you should, right? And here's the summary. It says registering the resources, uh, resource providers at this point. So you can see that D5, uh, but good summary here. And this is where I get that failure. So once I get that failure, so it's running the final validation now, but once I get this failure, what I end up doing is, um, it says get more quota, right? So it's saying that it can only have a maximum allowed of whatever that resource might be. And that's strictly to do with me having the uh, free trial. So I say get more quota, because I wasn't sure at first, right? Um, and I go in and, uh, I happen to uh, read the message, obviously, because I'm looking for additional quota. And it says I can't expand uh, that quota using the free trial. I could move it to a pay-as-you-go you type service, right? I'm not interested in that at this point. I, again, this environment is temporary. And I am going to uh, decommission it anyways. And I, you know, I thought building this in this environment would be uh, interesting for most folks, right? Because building it in a, a data center, a traditional data center, I think everybody gets that idea and has done that for many, many years. So anyways. So I changed that to A5, I didn't, or A3, sorry, the VM size. I didn't show that, I didn't go back and show that. I just jumped and made the change, cut that piece out. But that's what I did to, to ensure that I can meet that quota. Once I do that, I, I you know give permission to MS, following that uh, kind of that end user license type thing. And then uh, I said, go ahead and, and create. And it says deployment in progress, right? So it passed all the validation, etc. cetera. Um, and, uh, and that's it, right? Show the resources here that were created in that resource group. And you can see, you know, Splunk IP, the VNet, the NSG, 
Um, but really easy stuff. It's already deployed. Um, and now the next video will we'll log into Splunk and start doing some magic.